And there are some who even say that this this one right, Bush after I, where I stopped last week, there are some that say he's saying you can lose your salvation. And then, and 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 John is if Jesus has clearly said in John, what what I have in my hand, the devil can't pluck out. Amen. But 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 what is he saying? Amen. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna play with this for a minute. Uh, if, if y'all don't mind. Amen. Um, let, let's go to this. Um, I started last week at the, at the 19th verse. I'll be on the 10th chapter of Hebrews. Okay? Go to the 10th chapter of Hebrews first, please. Having that from Brother Moses to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way, we talked about the new and living way, that was our which he has consecrated for us through the veil, that is to say, his flesh. In other words, we mentioned last week that the veil was torn. You don't have to go to the priest and say, Father, uh, uh, forgive me. He go back behind the priest, you know, the veil. Jesus tore the veil. As a matter of fact, he became the veil. Amen. Jesus literally became the veil, so we can now come boldly to the throne of grace. Amen. We don't have to wait on nobody. We can go back there ourselves. In the Old Testament, as I mentioned, they couldn't go into the presence of God. Only the priest, the high priest, is that if he really wants to deal with bail from walking back that soon, so they make sure he was still alive. Amen. Uh, because uh, uh, he wasn't qualified to go into the presence of God either. I uh, can't read really these fast with the message. But as he said, come boldly, amen, to the throne of grace. And, and, and that's that's what's happening, amen. So we can come into the, to, to, to this holy of holy now ourselves, amen, into the presence of God. And, and then we come, come, come on down to verse 22. He said, let us come, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm using my, my, my Bible that has four different versions in it for one reason, and I told you that's what it was. He said, verse 22, let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith. Amen. And then, then verse 23, I'm just giving part of it. Let us, the song of God, now hold fast the profession of our faith. Now that's the one where I told you in all the other versions of the Bible, it does not say, uh, when it explains what the Greek is saying, and, and this is one of my favorite texts, let's hold fast the profession of our faith. But every other version translated that's that verse is saying, the Amplified says, let us seize and hold fast and retain without wavering the hope we cherish. Amen? The American Standard says, let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering for he who promised is faithful. Uh, the, the NIV says, let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess. And I mentioned to you that hope was the anchor of the soul. Amen. I think it's Hebrew 4 and 6, I believe. Uh, it, it's Hebrew 4 and 6. It, 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 it might be. Uh, uh, I forget which one anyway. I'd rather not move on there. Amen. Hope is the anchor of the soul. It's the anchor of the soul. What does an anchor do? Uh, an anchor holds. Amen. I told you, I told you, hope the poor is a great way of a poor servant. But I said it takes hope. To make faith work. Faith will go and seize as he has to eat. But hope will see it. Hope will see it. Hope will see your blessing. Hope will see your miracle. But hope will not go get your miracle. But it will hold it to faith, uh, zero in on it. And then faith will go seize what hope saw. But without hope, there was nothing to see. Now, and, and, and so, what does an anchor do? An anchor keeps a ship from drifting. Amen. Uh, and several go out there that they're, they're, they're missing anything. But they, they, they sure ain't going to make sure they got an anchor. Because if they get in a star, if they get in a star, amen, and there is no anchor, there will be some drifting. Amen? And, 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 and God is saying to us, amen, uh, 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 you got you got to watch. you got to watch this drifting. Amen? you got to watch this thing up. 
of, of, of drifting because you don't have no anchor, amen? And when you don't regularly come to church, amen, where you can hear the word of God, that's why that's why he, he goes on down to, to say, uh, uh, as they said, let us uh, seize and hold fast and retain without waiting, verse 23, the hope we cherish. Uh, the King James said, hold fast and confess, whatever we're holding fast to, they all go together. Verse 24 says, and 25, let us consider one another to provoke unto love the good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. As is the man of some. He said, You got some who don't want to come together out of some. He said, But don't you do that? Amen. Amen. He said, He said, you, I want you to come uh, every week, amen, amen, and assemble yourself to, 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 together. He said, As in the man of some, don't, 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 don't miss it. But he, but exhorting, is that word exhorting uh, one another so much more as you see the day coming. He says, You just be stuck. Fulfilling. Y'all have been making me preach for for 52 years and preachers used to laugh at me. Y'all see all this stuff. I even remember I said again, I, I said, but maybe somebody didn't hear. I said for years that, that the time will come when germs was part of the thing. Amen. For years, I said, you know, I said they would mutate. You had that stuff about mutation. Amen. I said they would mutate. Before we kill it, you know, mutate and become strong. Amen. I even use, I even use roach, roach boys this morning. You ain't never been able to kill roach. And they just you take after a while, you see them coming from the down the street when they spray when they see the truck come spray, tell them about they got the devil, come on down the street, amen. They get to you take get smart, amen. And we just keep on hanging things, you know. We talked about global warming for years, you know. I mean I'm not that smart, you know. Uh, I say it every week, I, and I'm an independent, I'm not a Democrat or a Republican, I'm a Russian Democrat. I voted uh, uh, Republican a bunch of times because I'm conservative. I, I, I told you last week, I can't, couldn't answer it now because the Trump ice is the cult. Amen? Amen? Uh, the cult. I mean, people, uh, people die for leaders. Amen? When you're in the cult, the people die for the leaders. In, in, in Christianity, the leader died for the people. Amen? People, people are dying with COVID. Because the leader, who by the way got, got his vaccines in January, but the leader didn't want to pretend that was nothing good to happen got that to, to, to look good. So they, they still pretend, and the, and the people who follow that are dying now. Because, you know, look at the government of, of, of Florida. I mean, the government of Florida, who people are dying like mad, but his, his, his desire, they keep having the false desire that, 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 uh, Trump will come back and, and, and run again and be president. He wants to be the vice president, so he's killing his people. He's telling that this doesn't exist. Amen? That's what happened with cults. Amen? Amen? That's what happened with cults. Amen? They follow blind their leaders. Amen? Who, who, are, who are being led. Amen? That's what Satan does. Amen? He pretends reality is the reality. Amen? And then we got people out here that use uh, the internet and, and other sources, amen, to, to, to tell lies. Amen. And so we got uh, many black kids, uh, young folk, amen, who haven't gotten the vaccination. Amen. Amen. Uh, talking about this crazy stuff. What they did in Tuskegee. Amen. And a whole lot of more stuff. Amen. And folk, folk are going. All right. How did I get over that? Amen. <laughs> amen. I mean, you, got, you know, global warming. Amen. Look at what's happening. All, look, look at what's happening now. Everywhere. Cities are burning up, amen. Amen. Burning, burning up, amen. Uh, 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 other cities are being flooded to the point that they're being wiped out, amen. If you know it goes for one while, because it's not about people, it's about money, amen. With the rich, amen. You know, but, but we've been, you see, in, in Revelation, what you're seeing happening is the results of global warming and all this stuff. We're, 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 we're approaching the day. He said, when that day come, what are we coming to church for? What are we mentioning to people? We're going to come to church to find what's wrong with somebody. Amen. Uh, Daphne. Did you, did you look at, uh, uh, what's, what's my girl's name? The, 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 the lady. The, the, George Lyon. Did you look at George? I don't know if you I don't miss George. I don't miss George for you. Did you get George sometime when she was judging the lady with the funny hair and all of that? And, and, and you know, and, 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 you know, and I, I've been guilty of that. I've been on the store and said, lady, purple hair. Green and all that stuff. Well, you know what I'm saying? And Doug was saying how she was doing that. And this other lady, you know, coming there, stop talking to the lady, ministering to her. Gotta say, amen. You know what I'm saying? 
We, 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 we just judge, you know. You, you know. We don't come to church to judge, amen. But I'm saying you come to church to exhort. If, if people think exhorting is fussing that. Exhort, amen. You're not fussing. You exhort means to encourage. Those five, those five exhortations that people say are uh, 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 mean, you know what I mean? And they're demanding. They're not. Each, each one of them is, a, is an encouragement. That's, that's what an exhortation is. Amen. And God said, I, I exhort you not to drift. Amen. amen. Don't drift. Amen. If you start drifting, amen. See, 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 I, I tell you one thing on the radio. Y'all out there never have no say, I put a lot of them up here. I can't find them. But but don't go down through, amen. But 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 I put them up here, amen. But that's 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 what it is, amen. If, 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 if God say, I don't want you to drift, amen. Don't drift, amen. The the, the, the five exaltations were sent to people who were born again. But he said, but 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 God is saying to us, born again folk can drift. Amen. Amen. The whole Corinthian church was a drifting church. That's why there was calm. The people that came out from Israel were drifting folk. That's why they stayed in the wilderness. You got more folk in church in the wilderness than that they came to. Amen. Moses died in the wilderness because he was with wilderness people. But God called him to a wilderness ministry. Because he was he was the one who brought the law. And the law cannot take you where grace takes you. That's why he called Joshua, another year, Yeshua, which is a, uh, the Hebrew for Jesus, he called Joshua to take them over over the Jordan. And then the Jordan was a type, amen, of the baptism of the Holy Spirit. That's the power of baptism, amen. The salvation baptism is when you come out of Egypt, a type of a uh, of, uh, of, uh, of the world, out of the Pharaoh, a type of Pharaoh, a type of Satan, amen, and you cross the Red Sea and they got a baptism, amen. That's what we get, amen. But they still wander in the wilderness, amen, because they were drifting, complaining people, amen. They were not the people who were loving, amen. That's what God is saying, being, being encouraged, that's what Barnabas was. That is, the name Barnabas means encouraged, amen. God called us to a ministry of encouragement. Amen. Amen. As a matter of fact, the, the, the Bible calls it's calls this letter. We you don't have to turn that. In Hebrews 13, 22, the epistle is called the word of exaltation. It's a word of exaltation. Amen. Amen. Husbands uh, uh, ought to encourage their wife. Wife ought to encourage their husband. Parents ought to encourage their children. You, you, we can we can show where you're short. We can show where you come come short. Amen. But we've all come short of the glory of God. So God is calling us to a ministry. Amen. Of encouragement. Amen. Amen. And as I said, these these five exaltations make folk hate the book. Amen. Make them hate the book. Amen. But but God is it, it, saying to us, Amen. Don't drift because if you drift. Amen. Uh, 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 the next thing you're going to see drifting is neglect. But the next thing you do, you're going to just write it down, is doubting. In the third chapter, he talks about, amen, hard hearted Christians. Amen. I can't, I can't give you the words before. I'm just, I'm just skipping it. Okay. okay, okay. But, but, but he said, you can't doubt it, amen. Because if you doubt the word, amen, after you have drifted from the word, the next thing you do, amen, you will have a, a dog destroy the word. Amen. That's the third thing. Amen. In, in, in the fifth chapter, amen. Down to the five, eleven, to six, twenty. That, that's a that's a sluggishness. And that's what you see, you see with a lot of folk in church. Church don't church don't, you know that even when you're in church, amen, it, 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 it's not really touching you. Amen, somebody? Amen. We 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 we're hearing it, but we're not listening to it. Amen. It's like some people call it. I, I listen to the music, so I don't call it elevator music. But some people call it the quiet, soft music, elevator music. Amen. You know, you hear it, but you don't pay no attention to it. Now, me, I hear it, and I pay attention to it. Amen. Because cause me and my wife listen to it all the time. We went to, we went to bed. We went to sleep to it. We rolled to it. We did everything to it. So even now, I take a ride every day. I take a ride with her every day. Y'all might say that's crazy, but I still do it. I enjoy it. I take a ride with her every day. 
Bob Shepard, I cannot overjaw call elevator music, but they, they, they speak to me, it speaks to my heart. Amen. You got to, you know, you, you can hear something, you can listen to something, amen. And in church, a lot of people are hearing it, you know, but they're not, they're, they're not listening, amen. It's going right past we leave, we leave out, amen, and we're still drifting, amen. God don't want to keep drifting, amen. You don't want to keep drifting, amen. Every week when you come to church, you ought to come to get something, amen. Because if you keep on drifting, you'll start doubting, amen. That's the second thing. And then, then that become a dullness, amen, where it's just, just sluggish. And that's, you know, you're here, you're here, but you're tired, you're here, you're just like last week. Well, it ain't just like last week, amen. That's why God said you ought to meditate on the word every day, amen. I don't even talk to the word I talk to you, ain't it? I mean, I'm going here now. I am not. I got a little message I'm going to try to get to. I don't think I'm going to do it. Amen. Amen. But you know what I mean? But you just meditate on it every day. You just keep showing yourself, you know? And you just get excited, you know? You get excited, amen? And see, that will never do it. That will make you walk when you preach it, amen? Amen. He made you walk. You ever seen some folks gonna walk when you preach? I can tell you, pee and wee wee and do all that stuff when they sing. Amen. When the folk preach, we sit here getting that stuff in. Amen. Somebody. Amen. So 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 you quit drifting. Amen. Amen. And I, I said drifting and doubting and dumbness. And then the next thing happened is we despise the word. And he never said nothing good about me. You remember Micaiah? Amen. The prophet. Amen. When when all the priests were the, the priests were saying what the king wanted to hear, and, and it didn't just didn't sound like everything just sound too good. And, and, and so he said, "Is there another one here?" He said, "Well, there's one more." He said, "Well, he never." That's what Ahab said. He never said that good about me. Amen. Uh, 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 I forget who it was. Ezekiel. Which one? He said, "Go get it." And then there was, that sounded like a real preacher. Yeah. Amen. He don't say, amen, what you want to hear. He said, what you ought to hear. And everything good to you ain't good for you. Amen. Amen. So, so he went and got, and Micaiah, amen, at first he came in there and told the king what he wanted to hear. The king knew he was dying. He said, tell me the real truth. He said, well, yeah, you're going to die. Amen. And he got mad and put him in prison. Amen. Some folk don't want to hear the truth. But you ought to come to church every week. Said, I want to hear, I want to hear from God. Amen. There are reasons that some folk, amen, just keep on being blessed. Amen. Nobody gonna be blessed all the time. You don't grow, you don't grow doing nothing. Amen. Y'all don't worry about me losing weight and stuff, amen. Then I find out losing muscle. So I brought up a whole bunch of more stuff down there in my gym, amen. And I'm down there working like mad, amen. Why y'all sit around that word? I mean, you know, I go to I go to my doctor two weeks from now, and all he does, I went, I called the folk and told him what to do. I said, don't need me coming in there, cause ain't nothing wrong. I said, the doctor know, give me, go pour some blood, you know, and then tell me, I don't know what you're doing, but keep on doing it, you know, and I will have I will have no medicine. I didn't call him back. I said, and the next said, you know, you like that. I said, I did. I said, so here's the thing. Go ahead and do the I said, no, he's coming in there. And then you come back for him to tell me what he saw on the test. And then he's going to tell me, I don't know what you're doing, but you keep doing it. So I did. I told him what he did. I told him to get my PSA. Me and y'all gonna laugh at me. My testosterone. Amen. I know what it is. Me and my ain't gonna get there, maybe, but you got what I got. You get it. Amen. I told him to get that. Amen. And, and the kidney, you know, numbers. And then I then the she said, Well, come on in next week. You know, I told him what I need, you know, and then he'll write over there mile, everything, and say, Your numbers are going backwards. Amen. How you doing that? I said, I ain't doing that. I've been praying, exercising, amen. And and, and telling the devil to take my hands off of me, amen. And I told y'all before, I realized I, I got lazy, I wasn't exercising. So he hit you with something, baby, after exercise. I mean, so I'm a little small. Amen. 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 Now your kidneys get funny, and it, 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 the kidneys hate proteins, muscle love proteins, so you got a problem there. 
So I can tell the devil, he won't leave my kidneys alone. Amen. Hey, Let's say kidneys don't get better with my hey, Amen. Hey, the point of it is, you can find out from the Bible that, that the doctor don't have the last word, the devil don't have the last word, but you're going to go through some stuff. Hey, Amen. You know, so, so, so all my suits are too big. I mean, too big. You know, so I bought three suits. You know, I wore this one before, so I ain't gonna buy another right yet. That's not my good sport coach for the last two weeks. So I can buy them, uh, them cold slacks, you know. They don't cost them much in the suit. You know, I buy sport coat. Amen. I, mean, I know the size of the sport coat. I can buy it, or it, amen. Uh, a, a, a 38 slim. I wore a 40 when I was 18, praise God. You hear what I'm saying? But, but, but you just, you gotta, you gotta learn to work it, amen. So, so, I mean, I feel great. I said, well, what you do with this suit that I wore last time is you go get you another shirt and another tie and make the suit look like it's a little different, amen? So you just keep on rolling. That don't be some strong, but you can make it a little strong. That's what church lets you know. You can make it a little strong. Amen? Amen? As long as the anchor holds. Glory to God. You can make it. Oh my God! This was the I, 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 listen, y'all. This was the introduction. You know where I was going? I was going to do all this, and then I was going to go to show you proof of how this works. Oh, it's a Mark Five. Amen. Oh, the way Mark Five, where the woman come out, uh, where the where Jairus came out. You remember? And Jairus come out and say, "My daughter's about to die." Amen. And Jesus was there. You know, Jairus was. Was a, a rich man. He was the head of the synagogue. Amen. He was over the synagogue. He was the chairman of the board of elders. Amen. He was great. Amen. His 12 year old daughter, according to Mark uh, 542, I believe, and she was 12 years old. Amen. And Jesus said, Well, come on. Now, here's just a rich man coming out to Jesus who didn't believe in Jesus. Amen. But when stuff gets bad, it ain't nothing working. Amen. You'll find out you start believing in Jesus. If, if, if you're smart, amen. Some folk now, when they, when they got these problems, amen, with drifting, amen, and doubting, and dumbness, and despising, and then, and, and, uh, 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 and then that last one defying, they, they, they may not. Then they just keep on drifting, amen. Amen. But folk who don't want to drift will, will realize God wants to encourage me and tell me I don't have to drift, amen. Amen. And 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 and, and 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 so here this guy comes, amen, because his daughter about to die. Amen. It makes you go to Jesus, amen. But but while he was doing this, I was gonna read all I'm just gonna read a little bit and sit down. Amen. While they're doing this, here comes this woman. Amen. Jesus is the only way to save the man's 12-year-old daughter. And here comes this woman with another 12-year problem. In other words, you know, somebody else has your problem. Hey, are y'all hearing me? Amen. Hey, it ain't just yours. You think it's just yours? You know? Yeah, I can't get them out. You know what I mean? That's my problem. You know? Oh, yeah. You know, I talk stuff, studying it. You know, I was telling the doctor, telling the doctor, the doctor, I can't figure out what happened. I told him what happened. I said, well, my my body and my kidney, but uh, uh, sixty something years, taking fifty some vitamins a day, and didn't drink enough water. He looked at me and he said, I call that self evaluation. I said, Yeah, I said, so what you do here? So I'll take a bite and take a water. And then I ain't gonna make that. I'm just showing y'all, I'm, I'm trying to show y'all stuff. That's what the of church begins, amen. You know, it's the one thing to say what the Bible says about it, but, but when you live long enough, you can say, I tried it and I know it worked. Amen. So here the guy, uh, Jairus, amen, he on his way. Uh, with Jesus to see how this going. Here comes the woman with the 12 year old, with not 12, yet 12 year old problem, too. She's poor. The Bible don't even get her name. And the Bible, she's so insignificant. We don't know who the woman is. Even we know who the is. Amen. But here she comes. Look now, Jesus is on his way with the man to save his daughter, and this old lady comes. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. And, and then Jesus stops and goes to talking to her. Well, she got a 12 year old brother too. She's been on period 12 years. She probably don't have a husband anymore because of the biblical law says so you can't be with your family. You can't go to church. Amen. You can't have a job. Amen. You're unclean. You can't do nothing. 
You know, she had gone to everybody spending money. I won't give you, I looked up some of the formulas they had for what people did to try to get rid of stuff like that. They are unbelievable. They were quack. Amen. And here she comes. And the guy is going on there like, what the? I'm glad you went in the hood. Okay. Yeah, she made it trouble. She did the hood. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. So they go on. And then wait a minute. Now wait a minute now. This, this Jesus got made him mad too. The woman, she, he, he don't say that. She go up there and crawl him down there touching him. You know, because she's scared. She wasn't supposed to be touching Jesus. She ain't supposed to touch nobody. And then she unclean. You know what I mean? We always make a humility, you know, we make her own and all. Now, you know, bow and get the him or no. No, she was sneaking, amen, because she wasn't supposed to touch him. And she said, I'm going to stay on me in church. Oh, God, you ain't going to fucking church like this. And then she said, I don't care what the law says. I know what I know, I know who he is, amen. Because you see, she had heard he was coming through. That's what you do in church. You hear the word, amen. You hear the message, amen. You don't get it, that's your fault. She hadn't got it, amen, for 12 years, but she heard it, and then she did something. You can hear it, amen. That's it, but if you listen, you're gonna do what you heard. Amen. And she said, you know, if I could just touch the him or if I can get a little bit of I don't need much of it. Amen. I don't have to have no audience with me. Amen. I mean, Mr. J. I was had an audience with me, but I don't have to have no audience with me. Amen. If I can just touch the him of it, you know. Amen. She, she's sneaking. Amen. We make a, a, a hero. She's sneaking. Amen. She made this honor. She's going to steal her touch. But if Jesus know your heart, I try not to dip in this thing, y'all. If he knows your heart, he doesn't demand perfection. It's just when we ignore him, disrespect him, despise that word, amen, defy the word. I don't care what you say, I ain't doing that. That's the fact, amen. But if you remember to hit your tongue, and when you wish to touch him, he said, Who touched me? Woo! I know Jair was really mad. What is he talking about? The woman in the only way, the woman that pushed through there and did that. Now he's standing by here talking about who touched me. Who cares? <laughs> Amen. Everybody touched me. No, they were thronging him. There's the difference of the phony throng and the real touch. <laughs> Woo, I feel like preaching this thing today. Amen. Amen. So he said, Who touched me? That's the church of faith. Let me tell you something. That's what God wants. She's been, she been anchored all that time. She said, I ain't going to drift. I'm going to find the answer. With all the other world the answers didn't work, she said, I'm going to try Jesus. Somebody ain't here today. You tried everything else. This ought to be the day when you try Jesus. Now, I want y'all, I want y'all to really be talking like that. Pretend that y'all listen to me. Amen. Just pretend it. Amen. When I was in the seventh grade, he was already saying I was going to preach, amen. Because when I went to church, I was listening, amen. That's why I'm still there, because I'm listening, amen, somebody. Amen. And so, so J.R., amen, he, he said, he done stopped. What is he doing? And then somebody runs up to him and said, that's okay. You know the day and night. Yeah. Amen. Jesus said, Jesus told him, said, take me to him. Take me to him. Amen. Amen. When everything seems like it's over, when there's no more hope, there's no more way out, and it ain't nothing gonna work. When all that's done, amen, they come up to him and say, She did. Now somebody in here today, you dealing with a situation and it's gone so far, it looks like it's just over, it's just dead. Well, that, that is the thing about needing a healing. And there's another thing about needing a resurrection. Now that the girl is dead, it is all Jesus. Something in your life is dead, it seems like. Something seems like it's over. Amen. You have reached that peak and you can't get no higher. It can't get no better. It's going this way for worse. You need a resurrection. And I heard Jesus tell a young lady named Martha, do you know who I am? 
I am the resurrection and the life. Amen. And he was talking again to a, a sister whose brother was dead named Lazarus. But he spoke a word to Lazarus and he walked to him and said, Lazarus, come forth. God got a, a, a word for your problem. He has a blessing for your problem. He has a resurrected blessing for your problem. Amen. And whatever you're dealing with, I want you to know that God is saying to you, I am the resurrection and life. It ain't over till it's over. Amen. Amen. And with, with those of us who know Christ as Savior, it's never over. Amen. Even when, the, when, when we say the last words in the church or in the funeral home, it still ain't like over. Amen. Because when we say the last words back, you already shout in heaven. Amen. We are more than confident to him who loved us and gave himself for us. Amen. That's why, that's why, that's why when Jesus went down to Jehovah's house, amen. He, he, he went into the house 12 years now, and then this guy, his, his sweetheart, his, his only child, amen. And Jesus told her, told her, told her, told her said, said, make sure to get up. Amen. The folk, the folk. And then another thing we did in the way, all the folk were following him. Jehovah was going to tell the folk, please get out of the way. We had a hurry, amen. But it ain't, it, it, it's never too late. When I was great going up in, in the south, they used to say the song, don't let it be saved. Too late, too late. The only time it'll be too late is when you turn your back on Jesus. Amen. And and, and death will not set your door. And you can't do nothing about it. But as long as you're living, amen, Jesus holds his hands out to you, his arms out to you. And say, I love you. I love you. I want to bless you. Amen. I want to encourage you. Amen. I didn't come to put you down. I came to build you up. Amen. But I can't build you up unless you build me up. If I be lifted up from the earth, I'm going to draw all men unto me. Amen. I'm God all by myself. Amen. I'm God all by myself. Amen. I'll resurrect your problem. I'll resurrect your joy. I'll resurrect your help. Amen. I'll resurrect your success. Amen. I am Jesus all by myself. Amen. I am the resurrection and the life. Amen. That's why I love that song to say, go ahead. Nail nails in my hand. Laugh at me while you can. That's what you ought to be saying to your problem. Whatever, whatever. If somebody is the problem, amen. Something is the problem. Go ahead, nail the nails in my hand. Laugh at me while you can, but I'll rise again. Ain't no power voice that's gonna chop me down. Amen. This little girl got up again, amen. He brought resurrection to her, amen. Laugh was amen. Walk out of that grave, amen. With grave clothes on, amen. Somebody in here is tied down by the world, amen. And it seems like it can't break through, amen. But if Jesus speaks a word over you, amen, you can cast, cast all your cares on him while he cares. Oh God, I just skipped through this now. I hope you got something out of it. Amen. Amen. Those demands are encouragements. Amen. God is saying be encouraged. Amen. This is this Hebrews is a book of encouragement, exhortation. Amen. Keep moving forward. Amen. Don't forsake the seven of yourself. I'm God all by myself. Amen. You're more than a comfort. Amen. Amen. The word of God is called the word of faith. Amen. God has a faith word for you. And you walk by faith and not by sight. Amen, somebody? And, 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 and that, that same book that it talks about faith in, in, in uh, uh, the word of faith in Romans 8, I'm sitting now. It says, how can you hear without a preacher? That's why you come on Sunday. You need to hear that word from the preacher. Amen? You say, well, I know the story, but God will let the preacher go into crack and do something out of the story that you didn't see on the page. Amen? Something he didn't even know because God just got to give it to him. Something you need to hear. Amen? You need to hear it. Amen? You need to apply. This is your day. Don't let it pass you by. There's somebody here today. There's somebody here today. There's somebody here today. He touched me. And all the joy that filled up something, something happened. 
And now I know